Good day all, Norfolk Boy here, and today's video is about a little gadget that I've just spent some money on called a Widdy U-Host by CME. Um, this is quite a clever little gadget, and they do plenty of other little gadgets too on their website, but this should make one or at least a couple of my keyboards wireless rather than have to string wires everywhere. I bought it mainly for when I'm away, actually... Um, doing music creation on 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 a mobile setup you know so um, instead of having wires running around everywhere and going into an interface i can just put it straight into the bluetooth of the ipad and then have a set of earphones in to hear what i'm doing okay so let's give it a look so here's the website and uh, check the website out there's plenty of little gadgets here that are well handy i must say um, I'm just going to go straight to where it says start the guide because I read the packet and on the packet it says go straight to the website and get down the manuals for everything so that's for connecting it and so on and you can also uh, get I think the app from here so if you're on your iPad you can just click on that and take you straight to the app but the app is in the app store basically. Um, yeah, this all, all this is just information on what it does and how to connect um, to certain different um, hardware which is mainly computers of course um, or or synth hardware you can actually connect it to other synth hardware as well apparently um, okay so I'm going to use this more for my uh, iPad so I'm going to download this witty app and set mine up like that I'm going to set it up to my iPad first so what you see is me setting up to the iPad but you can pair it to your computer you can, can you can pair it to a Windows machine a Linux machine I do believe um, you can also connect it um, to Android tablets and that kind of thing so it's pretty versatile um, I'm just going to save all these manuals for my pleasure to look at later if I can be bothered <laughs> if I can get it going straight away then I don't think I will Okay, so I'm on my iPad here, and I'm just going to go straight back to the website and go and find the um, download link for the iOS app that I need, or the um, iPad OS app. And where is it? Cables, by the way. Um, you will need cables. I already had some, but there is a couple of cables that you need for, for actually using this gadget. Okay, there it is. Um, I think the first thing that you need to do is plug it into the iPad itself um, and then the first thing it will do is ask you to update the firmware for both the Bluetooth and the actual gadget itself. Okay so here it is and I've got that plugged into a battery power pack and then I've got my keyboard wire plugged in to the right connection and then that's pretty much it. Then we come over to the iPad and we open up the app and in the app it just connects straight away or it will give you the information on how to connect and right, let's give this a go yes and we have sound so I'm now playing with my keyboard over here out, with no latency by the way um, on my iPad which is quite cool So over here on my iPad, I could also, now that it's set up, send my iPad to my screen here. And because the new iPad actually runs that way and sends the whole screen over onto your monitor, as long as you've got it plugged in, of course, um, voila, you've then got the full version, or full windowed version, I should say, which is quite handy when you're a bit blind like me. <laughs> Um, of logic for iPad so there you go so that should make it a little bit easier to to mess about with um, yeah okay so that's that now we're gonna do the old connecting to the um, main computer with the same gadget um, apparently when you go into Bluetooth you won't find anything in there what you have to do is open up MIDI setup and you need to be looking at the MIDI studio view and just click on the Bluetooth and you'll see WIDI host in there. Just 
see where it says pair is just say connect basically it'll pair it and that's it it's actually connected so now you should be able to go into any one of your doors so let's see there it is where do you move uh where do you host there's my ipad that i've got plugged in and a few other keyboards and things that i have plugged in at the moment okay let's open a door uh, let's open up Ableton Live. And let's pick a pick a plugin, any plugin. Too many. Can't make a decision on which one to open. This one'll do. Yeah, here we go. File. Jolly good. Uh, just to see if it works basically now i'm going to change the keyboard or the input you can leave it at all midis if you like i guess but i'm going to pick you host you midi host which was in there and um, so it should fingers crossed actually work i'm just going to go over to my keyboard there we go. i'm playing from a small keyboard over much of the other side of the room and it's uh, it's sending the signal over to my computer so it works um you know so if there's any particular scenario you need to make one of your little um keyboards into a wireless keyboard then this is the gadget for you as i said there's a couple of wires you need to go with it but uh, i already had some and you can pick them up fairly cheap from anywhere anyway and these are the other little gadgets so if you've got a bigger keyboard with um the old midi connections in the back you can buy one of these little gadgets there's all different ways that you can actually connect a particular keyboard wirelessly to your um, computer or ipad or or any other kind of tablet really so um, this is the way to go if that's what you want to do but you really need to read up to make sure that you get the right gadget that's the right one for you really I suppose um, but this works for me it, it's going to work for me on the road so I just thought I'd make this little video about it and there you go there it is the witty you host and before I go um, the price on this is not exactly cheap but I did find it for 45 pound on Amazon which is a lot cheaper than I've seen it elsewhere um, but you know if it's what you want it's what you want I know you can buy keyboards that are already wireless before you start so you know but there's not that many of them around so yeah it's um, it just works for me anyway so I thought I'd just make this video so thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to see you all again pretty soon